Welcome to the classic Tracy Monster. We are from the Graduate School of Cultural Technology in the Korea Advanced Institute of Science and Technology. CTM is an educational game designed for non-major students without a computer science background who learn machine learning for the first time. They can learn machine learning and data dependency in an easy way while playing this game. Previous literature has investigated several barriers that non-major students encounter while trying to learn. Preconceptions can make learning machine learning seem too difficult, and they may meet difficulties in fully understanding its capacity and limitations. There were efforts towards more interactive education for the general public, such as online courses or visualizations. However, they also have limitations for beginners. So we focused on the game's potential as motivating and easy to access learning material for beginners. We made CTM as an educational game specifically tailored for non-major students' needs. We set up three design rules based on their needs. First, the game should be playable even without much programming knowledge. Second, machine learning elements translated into game activities should be easy to understand. Third, players should be able to recognize both the importance and limitations of machine learning as they clear tasks with models. From now, we'll present how we developed the game considering these rules. The game's goal is to correctly classify incoming trashy monsters and make them go to the right recycling facility. In order to lower barriers for beginners, we excluded detailed machine learning algorithms. We also designed trashy monsters in a cute and warm manner to make the game feel more casual despite the difficult theme. The game depends on the success and failure of the classification. If players make a wrong classification, they lose a life which can lead to game over. As the game progresses, monsters enter faster, so the player should train and use a model. Each model training sequence is divided into different game activities. Collecting monster data with a data collector, training the model with model training UI, and using the model on the label generator. Players can train and use their own model by sequentially engaging in activities and learn the basic ML sequence. We also made the game easy to play for all players, regardless of their game skills. Objects can be grabbed and dropped easily with a simple click, and data can be collected simply by pressing a corresponding numeric key. The time energy reward system that can slow the game time reduces players' burden. Also, clear feedback lets even novice players understand the result of their actions without difficulty. The game is divided into four levels that are designed according to the beginner's learning curve. Players start from understanding a simple element and are introduced to more complex concepts as the level progresses. In the tutorial, players learn the basic concept, practice model training sequence, and then learn the data shortage problem. On day one, players practice the model training steps. Then they learn the data imbalance problem by training a biased model, experiencing its results and comparing with the unbiased model's results. In later stages, players train their own model freely using what they learned, and survive the monster waves. In the final playtest, no major students without ML knowledge received the game positively in regards to both its educational impact and fun. Participants were able to learn the data's role and its impact on model training results from the game. They also explained machine learning concepts more clearly in the quiz after gameplay. Players also reported that the game made ML feel less difficult and more relevant to their daily lives. The e-game flow scale result showed a high educational game enjoyment. It showed that the game's goal and feedback was clear, and it provided an immersive experience where players can take initiative. We discovered that playing CTM can make learning machine learning easier, more enjoyable, and less fearful for non-major students. For them, the game can be good for understanding the big picture. However, it may not be sufficient for educating more complex concepts. We found that some players vaguely or inaccurately remember their takeaway from the game. The game would achieve its full educational potential when it is accompanied by debriefing that facilitates accurate interpretation of knowledge gained through the gameplay. Thank you for listening.